in this second block of our today's PHP e-learning lessons, we are going to learn how to include external files inside our PHP, the so-called server side includes. Um, we also worked already in JavaScript with external scripts and this is basically working the same way. We are going to learn something about the methods include, include once, require and require once. For you need to check your folder functions. Dreamweaver site manager and then I would like to uh, I would like you to create a new folder inside the folder functions so I'm selecting functions choosing new folder and please this is um, important for the target paths we are going to work with call this folder includes first part of this block we are going to include an external HTML file, not a PHP file, an HTML file. Therefore, you are going to create a fresh file and this should be an HTML file. File new and um, choose HTML now as your page type. Doc type really doesn't matter as you're going to see so you set this to XHTML or HTML5 doesn't matter just create a blank HTML file. This HTML file does not need to contain any additional doc type declaration, not even a head or a body tag or nothing else. So you would select all and delete it. Really a blank page. Now this technology I'm going to uh, demonstrate here is very, very essential for content management systems we are going to work with. This is the way how to include external information inside a PHP file. The only thing I would like you to type in this um, blank HTML file without additional information is just a paragraph tag actually. In HTML paragraph and then just type this paragraph comes Internal file. That's all. Now please save this file. The folder includes. Going to save this of MDF function. Here you would like to call it paragraph.html. Save. So the result should be that you have inside your folder functions, the folder includes and inside resides a file called paragraph.html. HTML. Good. Next step would be to create the PHP file which is going to include this specific paragraph. So you need to create another new file make it a PHP HTML5 template. File new. P 
PHP is my page type and as a doc type I choose now HTML5. Create it. As a document title I choose include external files. And then I'm going to save it. Now outside the folder includes, it's because I would like to show you how target paths are working if I'm using um, external files in PHP. So I'm going to save this. Not in the folder includes, this is important, but outside in the functions folder. Um, are we going to uh, call this include dot php right so check again your file structure that you're not going to be confused when we are uh, working with target paths in a second, include PHP inside the folder functions and paragraph.html includes. Good. So I'm not receiving screen clicks or chat messages. I presume you are still with me. Inside the include.php, look at your body tag section. First of all, I'm going to include a simple headline, like an H2 headline, server, side, it's. Then uh, to demonstrate how this is going to render, I'm going to insert a ordinary paragraph like, well, this would be a static paragraph inside this file. Capital P tag. So, and then I'm just typing this paragraph is in the main file. Full stop. And saving. Now, the paragraph HTML already contains a paragraph tag. Nothing more but a paragraph tag. That means if I just could call this file to be included inside this file, I will also get the paragraph tag with me. In order to call this as a PHP server-side include, I need, of course, first of all, to include a Now we are going to use this method I mentioned when I was starting this, se this, this section try include once. It's written like this, include score include once demands a string and I will conclude this by a See my colon. Include once is only asking you for the target path to the file we are going to um, include here. It's in our main directory, and in PHP you can identify this by dot slash. 
is look for the folder we just created, the includes folder, and then you would look for your paragraph.html file. And save it. So let's see what the split view does. Great, right? To transfer the file from the includes folder to the PHP and Andrea already um, saw it's also working without the dot slash. So this uh, is just targeting uh, is, is, an, is an additional pref prefix that makes it sure that you are in the main directory. It's also supposed to work like ordinary HTML target paths. That means look into the folder includes and then paragraph.html. So has the same result, right? Prefix here as well. You can use both versions basically. Good. Then try the following just to make sure what the difference between include ones and include is. Take a sip of water here. Good. If I would copy this whole expression again. Paragraph HTML and include once again. I, to update it, then you can see the second one is ignored and that is because I chose include once. Include once is only able to include once. If I would like to use the same file several times, I have to switch to the include method. That means include then you can see that it will take the same file two times. So that is the basic difference between include once and include. Now I'm going to switch back to my paragraph HTML because I would like to link to a different file now from my HTML file in order to see how this is going to work. Well, I'm activating the Actually, I would like to link the paragraph.html file to the custom functions PHP and call this content. Right, but not from the include PHP, from our paragraph HTML PHP. I'm going to include a reference now here to this custom functions PHP we created um, before. To insert a simple anchor tag, call this navigate to the PHP functions page to make this ordinary HTML anchor put a hyper reference here one double quoted string. So now comes the trick here, the thing you carefully have to regard if you are kind of um, designing a net 
of hyperreferences inside include files and inside including file. To think that if I would try to navigate from paragraph HTML to custom functions HTML, right, that I would calculate the target path from here. That means from paragraph to custom functions after ordinary HTML logic would look like this, dot dot slash. As you probably remember, this would mean get out of my folder, right, inside the parent directory. That would be functions and look for the file custom PHP. Hmm. This would be ordinary um, HTML logic. I can tell you right away this is not going to work. So if I check my include.php then the link is accepted, right? But if I would trigger the link this would result in an error. Well, let's see how this would look in Chrome. My external file is kind of um, formed here. If I try to trigger it, then I'm getting the sad message, the object is not found. The requested URL was not found on this server. Problem solved, blank space in, in a uh, file name. So use require instead of um, a um, of the method include once, include once and require once or include and the equivalent uh, require are basically doing the um, same things. Just that if the file you are targeting is missing, well, like you like you uh, saw here, then include will only produce a warning and the script will else continue to perform. If you use require, then a missing file or a incorrect target path, like in the, uh, in the example I had before, will produce a fatal error, actually a compiler error, and will stop the script. So that means whenever uh, you are in doubt and you want your script to continue, no matter what, then you would choose include. If um, you really are depending on an outside file, for instance, if you are fetching an outside function into your PHP script, you would use require. So let's let's test how require works. Below the include once method, I'm going to insert an another headline. And then I'd like to include a function here. Basically the same one which comes from the custom functions.php. Include an external function. HP function. Here I would be now very strict. Actually, I can copy the whole line here. Spares me some typing. Instead of include once, choir once. And since I'm already in my main file and I need to include custom functions PHP, right? The custom functions PHP does contain a lot of functions here, but the whole content, so I would just browse to my custom 
functions. HP. This in a browser you can see that the function is correctly embedded and executed. See what's happening if we are uh, again like creating a wrong target path here, like blank space already will mess up any server target paths as we seen before. Then you can see that I receive a warning from the include ones, right? But then a fatal error. Well, this actually comes comes both from the from the from the require ones. First, to open something, and then I have a fatal error. And a fatal error is really fatal. It's aborting the whole script. However, you use require. Good. So this was for demonstration how this is um, going to work. The next um, part would be how to use now external files together with functions and arguments. But before we are going to continue, um, lost sound. Okay, you are back, <laughs> back again. Good, probably just a delay. Right, so this concludes this short um, example. I would like to give you a 10 minutes break now to brew you fresh coffee or to take a smoke. And then I would like to demonstrate how we can use this now in a more sophisticated way together with a function. Actually, we are going to program a Fahrenheit to Celsius converter. That means a function which is able to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. Right, so I would say see you, take a break, refresh your brain, and then <laughs> I'm going to see you at 11.10, right? Super, see you, bye.